I ended up in the ER. Stick around for the rest of the story. Keith, Keith's an amazing guy. What is up? It is Red. The Ride Chair Ginger coming right back at you. I'm gonna do a little video here and talk about uh, an experience I had about a week and a half ago at this point. And it's part of the reason why I haven't had as many videos out and why I haven't made as much money uh, the last couple of weeks. But so it was about a week and a half ago. It was a Thursday. I'd worked uh, most of the day and then was working in the night and I'd just completed a trip up near uh, Glenview. And I was trying to decide last trip or should I stay a little bit longer? It was about 11.45, maybe midnight, somewhere right in there. And I was trying to decide whether it was uh, last trip or if I was going to try to knock out a couple more O'Hares. And I was heading back towards O'Hare and all of a sudden I got this like zigzag line, horizontal, kind of thin, right across the middle of my vision. And it was kind of blurry. It was a blurry horizontal line. So I find the nearest Walgreens, pull over, grab some contact solution, take my contacts out, grab some food, eat a little bit. Because I was a little bit hungry and I was a little bit tired. Grab an energy drink and lay down for about 30 minutes in the car. Vision came back to normal and everything was all good. And I'm like, all right, I guess I'm just going to go home because I don't want to risk anything else. Might as well get home and go to sleep. But I'm, I'm about 40 minutes from home. Well, as I'm starting to decide to go home, start getting the massive headache and sick to my stomach, and which is kind of typical migraine symptoms. So, you know, and I, I had had one other migraine in my life and it was like back when I was 12. So like, it had been a while, but so I, I don't know if it was, I didn't know if it was really a migraine or anything. And so I'm like, I'm just getting home, go to sleep. That's, that's what I need, get some sleep. So I'm driving home, get about 20 minutes from home. I'm driving in uh, 90 West, and just trying to get home and about 20 minutes from home and all of a sudden my left fingers and up my arms start to go tingly and then numb left side of my face goes numb and at that point i'm like well i think i might be having a stroke i don't know exactly what stroke symptoms are but i i think uh numbness on one side and uh num numbness on one side of your body numbness on one side of your face is generally a good indicator so i pull over right on the highway uh hang up the phone with my girlfriend tell her i'm calling 911 Call the ambulance. Ambulance shows up. Took me like 15 minutes to show up. Um, and I messaged my group chat, tell them I was pulling over too. And cool thing about some of the group chats is two guys from the smaller group chat that I'm in, uh, two of them showed up. And I get into the ambulance. The ambulance takes me away, but they took care of my car, dropped it off the hospital that the ambulance took me to, which was excellent and awesome. And I really appreciate that. Um, and that's another reason why it's nice to be in some of these group chats. Not that that's something that you can expect and whatnot, but whatever. Like, it was pretty cool, the guys, to grab my car and take care of it for me. And one of the guys actually beat the ambulance to where I was at. It was there right before the ambulance got there, which is pretty crazy. Um, so ambulance takes me to the hospital. Um, at this point, numbness has gone away. Uh, can feel my face, like everything's back to normal. Tongue was a little bit numb when the ambulance showed up, but that's kind of about it. And all I got left is the massive nausea and massive headache. Uh, I get hooked up to IVs and everything at the hospital, finally get in for a uh, CT or CAT scan. I don't know if it's the same thing or what I got, whatever. Imaging of the head and they take a look, they wheel me back out, said, you know, everything looks good, everything was fine and that it was this uh, migraine variant, which is like kind of a rare, a relatively rare type of migraine, at least that's kind of what I found in my research, and it can mimic a stroke. A lot of the symptoms are very similar to a stroke, and so that that's, that's what I was having. And I, I'm glad that that's all it was. It kind of sucks that I had to take an ambulance in and that I didn't just make it home and knock out, but, you know, it, at least it wasn't a stroke, and I... I'm doing good, but it's just kind of a, a wake up call to take care of yourself. I, uh, I was in a bulking phase for about two and a half months where I was putting on weight intentionally, putting on muscle intentionally, but fat comes along with it. And so I went from about 175, 180 up to, I am now about 220 in about two and a half, three months. So that's, it's pretty significant in that short amount of time. And then that week I had only worked out like once or twice. And normally I'm working out, you know, anywhere from like eight to 12 times in a week. So 
and then I still haven't improved since then, but like I'm trying to get things back on schedule. I got a lot of, a couple other things going on and I'll do a whole nother video on what else I had going on. But so I'm just trying to get things back on schedule. I'm going to get back to working out, taking care of myself and then getting the diet back on track. Cause at the end of that bulk and I was, I'm at the end of the bulk, I, I'm three weeks past the bulk. I was supposed to start a cut to start getting that weight back down and get everything back into order and where I want to be. And it's just, it's tough from going from eating like shit to eating good. And one second, uh, I guess there's still enough light to finish out this video. Uh, sorry about that guys. Um, but it, it, it's tough to switch from eating like shit to eating good and getting in that rhythm. But I, that's what I need to do. So this past week, I, while I haven't gotten back to the working out, I have been eating significantly better and improving that since this incident. And just take care of yourself, guys. You, you just don't know what can happen. A lot of us out here are well overweight, uh, are smokers. I'm not a smoker, but a lot of drivers are smokers doing other different things. So try to take care of yourself. You don't want anything bad to happen on the road and and have it be because you just weren't taking care of yourself. Make sure you get the sleep you're supposed to because my, my migraine could have been from a million things. Could have been from health issues, like as far as weight and everything. It could have been from, I had a really crazy experience with a passenger that kind of stressed me out, which I never stress about anything. So to have that high stress level and then the next day to have this migraine migraine type thing, I, had, I got a feeling those were kind of related because my body doesn't understand how to handle stress or it could have been lack of sleep. It could have been, it could have been one of a million things, but if you can take care of yourself and make sure you're getting the right sleep, getting the pop, proper nutrition and working out adequately, you're at least narrowing the number of things it could possibly be. And if those are one of the things, then you're not going to have something happen to you. So I just think it was a wake up call for me and uh, should be a wake up call for you guys. Take care of yourselves, get healthy, work out, sleep, eat right, but still enjoy yourself and get out there and make your money. But until next time, guys, I appreciate the views. Thanks.